Hi, my name is Mark Patterson, University Ombuds for Cal State University Channel Islands. Very independent, impartial, confidential, and off the record resource for helping deal with conflict. And I want to share a few quick tips on how to plan ahead for the transition to the new normal that we'll be looking forward to as many return back to the workplace from remote locations. But first, I want to share a story. Before I became Ombuds, Many years ago, I was a judge advocate in the Air Force. In fact, it was 24 years in the Air Force and had during that time a couple opportunities to deploy to overseas locations. And one lesson I learned from these deployments, common to many other people who have served in the military and deployed, there's a strong desire when you're coming out of an uncertain and trying environment to want everything to be back to normal as much as possible to have essentially a reset. I know I did when I returned for the first time in 2002 from the Middle East uh, to my family. This was in the early days after 9-11 when we in the Air Force were not as used to deploying as we soon became to be. And I had a similar experience when I returned just a few years later from a deployment to Afghanistan, a strong desire for everything to be essentially just reset as if I had never left. Of course, that's not realistic and not helpful as far as emotional state of mind. One lesson I found from that experience that I'll share in a moment in greater detail is that it's important to look ahead to how everybody can be on common footing when returning to a new environment. Returning to a new environment is a strange way of looking at it, but that's essentially what we will be doing and the way to look at it like a military member returning from a deployment. It is a new environment as family and friends have moved on in their lives and adapted. We too need to adapt. So how do we do that well? How do we look ahead to plan with confidence in such uncertain times still? Well, there's three ideas that I'd like to share with you. Let me share my screen to help do that. The first idea is that if we're returning to a new normal, it's important to know what the old normal was as much as possible, to have a baseline of sorts, to think about independent of the work product, whether that's teaching or administration or finance or whatever it is you work in, independent of the actual work itself, how are the processes of your work serving you, good or bad? In a sense, how did communication work? Was it a lot, a lot of email? Were there a lot of face-to-face? -face? Was it quick meetings? Were there a lot of formal meetings? How did, how did information sharing go? How was decision-making accomplished? What mechanisms and methods were used to arrive at decisions? And how did people's personal boundaries affect the way they interacted with one another? A lot of times those things are vague and hard to pin down, but we don't often even think about them in the way we work. So if we're going to return to a new normal, try to spend time to think about what processes in your workplace were the old normal so you know where you're coming from. A second idea to take in mind is what kind of transition markers will help you to know that you are moving towards a new productive, a new effective workplace. There's, again, related to my deployment experience, a temptation to feel like everything should just reset. But we've all changed. Our indiv individually, offices, workplaces, the nation, the world has all already changed as a result of the national, the, the global pandemic. And we need to give ourselves some space and charity to work through what that will look like as we begin to work in more traditional settings that we're used to. To set up markers as we begin to come back to work together. Some won't be able to work in the same way that they did before because of health reasons or continuing need for physical distancing and maybe less tangible things, the way that we got used to uh, getting information will have changed as noted before in the old baseline. So give ourselves markers that will help us to know that we're achieving success and maybe like in a deployment like I did, give yourself a reset time, I found almost by sheer chance that when we were able as a family upon my return for all of us to take an extended trip together, it helped reset all our minds so that I wasn't tempted to try to push my desire for continuity on my family and they were not 
feeling that I was intruding on systems and ways of dealing that they had developed in my absence. Sort of a marker of a trip for us was a good way to help us to know we're succeeding in reintegrating. You can do that in our workplaces too, whether that's a marker of a time or just progress steps. A third idea is to look at this time that we've been working in largely an isolated or stay at home context, what worked for us. I know in my work, I found myself connecting a lot more with the colleagues outside of Cal State University in my profession as an ombuds and receiving and sharing ideas on a much more fluid basis than I had in the past. And I'd like to continue doing that, to continue having these quick uh, virtual meetings with colleagues and how I might be more effective. And maybe you found things too that actually work well. Give yourself the space to, if Zoom meetings have worked well for you, even in the office, you can set up a Zoom meeting time and give yourself that space uh, outside of the Zoom meeting to work if you need that independent time. Whatever works for you in the, this work at home environment may be worth taking a look to see what might be imported into your more traditional workspace. So those are the three tips that I wanted to share what processes were affected, essentially what was your old baseline of processes, what transition markers would help you to know that you're moving towards something new and effective, and finally, what worked well during this isolation period that you might want to import. I hope this has been helpful in looking ahead with hope towards a period of a new normal. Things will be challenging, and the Ombuds Office will always be here to help creatively work through those, again, confidentially and off the record. Thanks.